Hey guys, it's Dragon Rockstar here, coming with you with a a, a test hand video for, with my 60 card lights wrench dolls. Now, it's been a while since I've been able to upload another video due to the fact of certain things like as work and such. But other than that, I'm gonna give you a few test hands, and then at the end, I will show you what kind of boards you guys uh, would recommend on seeing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna try to keep this video to a minimum of 20 something minutes. So let's go ahead and get started here. So let's do my first test hand. So keep in mind you do want to go second in this deck. Let me shuffle. And then I'm going to cut it as you are usually what you would do if you were at a tournament. So let's go ahead. There we go. Now the top, uh, since you are going second, because in this deck you always want to go second. But if in the odds that you always go, uh, you're going first, I'll do the top five, and then for the first hand here, and then I'll do the top six as if you were going second. So as in you were going first, this is what you will draw. Top five. That's not as bad as I thought it'd be because you have pot desires, which is uh, draw power, and you got one for one, which is also like board extenders. Plus you drew Disturdo, so you can discard Disturdo and go off from there. And you have a uh, this. Uh, disrupt in plays for your opponent. If you are going second, here's another card. Now you drew Call by the Grave. So you have protection for both Hot Desires and One for One from Ash Blossom, which is always good. So this is a good hand. So let's go ahead and do another one real quick. Well, the top five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this hand is not as ideal as I thought it'd be, but it's a good extender here. Uh, first part, first off, this is the top five. So if you were going first, this could end up in the bad situations with you going to get your opponent. But if you were going second, you'll draw Stall Beast, which is actually quite useful because you'll play Solar Recharge Ditching the Wolf, and you'll draw two, so say if you were the draw two, which you drew these two, and say if you were in the middle two, which you will mill both BLS and charge, which is not as ideal as I thought it would be, but it's a good hand. I would recommend that that is a good hand, really, to me personally. That is a pretty decent hand. Let's go ahead and do another one. And then I will be playing one hand here. I will show you how to play one of these hands. Depending on the situations and such. So let's do another hand. Draw the top five here for a second. So here's one, two, three, four, five. That is a pretty good hand. I really do like this type of hand, and I pretty much will play it out. Uh, and then, oh wow, you draw Illumina as your top six, and that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and test out this hand. See what kind of board you can end up with. So let's put this up here. So first off, lay it out right here. What you do is you'll play the charge. Milling your three, so one, two, three. Not the best mill, because that's your mill three. That's not the best mill, but you'll search out your other Lumina. You'll play Pot of Desires. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You'll draw two. Should draw one. Draw two. What you banish was all this. Not as much as I thought it'd be. All stuff you can live without. Then you do Foolish. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to send a light turn type monster to the graveyard. That way I can be able to continue my plays. What I'm doing is I'm going to send a Felice. Now Felice doesn't do anything. It's just I'm sending it to the graveyard so I can get more uh, plays out of the Luminous. As well as the Shadal Hedgehogs and Shadal Falco. Uh, well, personally Shadal Hedgehog because you want to get... Uh, you want to try to special some one of your uh, Shadal monsters. 
So you lower summon Luna, you activate Luna's effect, dishing the one Luna, special summon Luna. Then you activate that Luminous effect. Depending on your such certain situation, you can send Shadal Hedgehog by ditching it out of your hand to get you a Shadal Fusion, or you can ditch the Raiden. So, personally, I'm ditching the Raiden, and then I'm going to special summon the Raiden. And then I'm going to activate Raiden's ability. Mill 1, Mill 2. Oh, shoot, that wasn't the best mill. You're more better off of ditching the Hedgehog, so let's go ahead and ditch the Hedgehog. Let's see how that turns out. So you ditch the Hedgehog, you'll search out, well, first you'll target to Special Summon, which you'll be targeting your Feliz, Special Summon the Feliz. Hedgehog will allow you to search. At this point, you'll search Shell Fusion. Now, say if your opponent was, you know, your opponent went, uh, your opponent went first, and they have an extra deck monster. You play Shell Fusion. You'll send Damage Juggler, obviously. And then you'll send your, one of your Shell Monsters. So I'm sending Shell Beast. So I can get Shell Beast's effect. Everyone knows your favorite girl is back, which is El Shell Construct. So after I send both of these to the graveyard, you'll special summon El Shell Construct right here. Then you'll activate both. Shadow, El Shadow Constructs effect and Shadow Beast. Shadow Beast will activate, allowing you to draw a card. Then you activate El Shadow Constructs effect to send a Shadow Monster from your deck to the graveyard. So I'm sending Shadow Squamana. Then Shadow Squamana's effect will activate, sending you another Shadow Monster. So say if your opponent has disruption, like back row, and you don't want to deal with it, you'll send your Shadow Dragon. And then Shadow Dragon's ability will activate, popping your opponent's card. Now, ideal, this wouldn't be the best board, so that's why I'm going to link with three. And I'm going to get rid of Special Construct. I'm going to special summon Curious. And then I'm going to activate Curious ability to send from my deck. So I'm sending. Uh, what kind of target do I want to send? What do I want to send? Ah, I'll send Revival Golem. Obviously, Revival Golem activates. The Shuffle. You'll have your opponent cut. And then you'll send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. So, mill one, two, three. It's not the best mill, but it works. Keep in mind, you still have um, uh, Damage Juggler in your graveyard. You'll activate damage to search. And you'll add Hat Trigger from deck to hand. If you have Disturdo in your graveyard, let's see, do we have Disturdo? We do not. Okay, that's, that's a little bit different. But that's good, it's cool, it's cool. You'll activate Hat Trigger to special summon. Now you have four monsters on your field. You could link four Sayuja to draw your four. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's link for four. Special summon Sayuja. Activate Sayuja's ability. You draw one, draw two, draw three, draw four. Then you'll put back three. So what I'm going to do in this circumstance here is I'm going to put back Shadow Hedgehog, Wolf, and Falco. Then I'm going to play Charge. Let's see what kind of target we have left in here. We have Lila. Do I have Lila to you? Then you're going to special summon the Raiden. Activate Raiden's ability. No one, no two, doesn't matter. Activate Disturdo's ability. Special summon by paying half. Um, Blackless Soldier's ability. Special by banishing.
really what I should have done is instead of doing Raiden's ability to mill two, I should have special summoned Malila. Activate the Sturgill on target. That way I can synchro with these two. And special summon out Warlord Savage. And then Warlord Savage ability will activate. Ideally putting Curious into it. Ideally this wouldn't be the best board. But you still have abilities because you have a... You have a... Uh, let's see. You have a 33 beat stick uh, BLS. And then you have a... Uh, Dearly a higher attack, uh, more of a savage as well. It's not the best hand, but it works. Let's go ahead and do another. Let's see what else we can do out of this. Let's see what kind of other board we can end up with with the next hand. Hmm. Like I said, I dearly, it's depending on what you guys want to do for the hands, test hands and such. But I'm showing out this test hand of this deck so it, you guys can see how well the deck can play in certain in different circumstances of the hands. So let's do one more test hand. And then at the end, I'm going to, like I said before, I am going to show you guys what kind of idea of board you guys really want for the type of hands that you guys want to see. So let's go ahead and cut. And let's do the top five real quick. Let's see. Draw one, two, three, four, five. Ideally, this wouldn't be the best hand. But it works because you drew uh, Super Poly, you have Charge, you have Solar Recharge, you have Extenders. And let's draw the 6. Not the best, but it works. So let's go ahead and play it off. So let's do... Well, some of this return opponent is Orphus Scorpio. Activate Orphus Scorpio's effect. I'm not going to ditch the Garnet. I'm going to ditch the Ghost Arc. Special. Say so if your opponent has an extra deck monster in their uh, extra deck zone, which works for you. Let's see. I'm going to special summon the Cobra once I find it. Jeez. He's tucked all the way on the top of the deck. Ain't that a sucker? I'm going to special summon Cobra. Then activate Cobra's ability. I'm adding Chanel Fusion from my deck to my hand. Shuffle here. Then you're going to play Charge. Only one. Two, three. So you'll get two searches. Charge will go first, and then Shadow Hedgehog will go for next. Uh, charge, you'll search out your. Your Raiden. And then uh, Shadow Hedgehog will allow you to search out your. Let's go for a beast. Let's add beast to my hand. Shuffle here. And then I'm going to do Solar Recharge. Ditching the Raiden. Draw one. Draw two. Mill one. Mill two. Now the Garnet is completely dead because of what you milled. The Garnet's completely dead. So now we can use Garnet for discard fodder if need be. Then we're going to normal summon Raiden, then activate Raiden's ability. Mill no one, mill no two, which wasn't the best mill, but you always, it, depending on your circumstances, you could use Raiden's ability, you cannot. Just depends on you. I'm going to activate Shell Fusion. If my opponent has an extra deck monster in their extra deck zone, I'm going to send both. Um, really, the main cards I just want to get out of the deck, which will be Revol I'm going to send Revolve Golem. And Shadow Dragon. So that way I can get some back row pops. Uh, the reason why I send Revival Golem because I'm going to special summon this Shadow Monster. I can never pronounce this guy's name right, so you guys can let me know down in the comments below how you pronounce this guy. If you guys want to know. How do you pronounce his name? I can never pronounce his name right. But you'll special summon him to the next Jekyll. Revival Golem's ability will activate. Because it gives you a free level 4 to special summon here. You link with all these. Let's go for a Sayuja clay. Special summon Sayuja. To be Sayuja's ability. Draw 1. Draw 2. Draw 3. Draw 4. 
Now in this circumstance, you don't need the Scorpio, you don't need the Effect Feller, and you definitely don't need the Garnet. So let's get rid of those three. Then you'll play Solar Recharge, pitch the Fleece, draw one, draw two, mill one, mill two. It wasn't the best hand, or the best cards to mill, but it was good. Play Desires, let's finish the top ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm gonna draw one and draw two. That was all right. Won't you vanish? Vanish all those. It's okay. Let's go to the grave. What else do we got? Oh, we do got a disturbing grave. So that's the best part right here. Um. You will activate Sayuja's ability to special summon your Trick Clown. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Disturdo's ability to special summon from my um, graveyard by targeting uh, Front Foot Over Scorpio special. By paying half. Then since I have two low fours on the field, I'm going to overlay both. I'm going to special summon the Minerva. Then I'm going to activate Minerva's ability to chain the Trick Clown. I mill one, two, three. Now I get to draw two. Draw one, draw two, and then Wolf's ability will activate as well as Trick Clown's ability will activate. Ideally, I didn't want to draw a Felice, but Felice will have to do then. Sometimes the mills kind of screw you up once you're in your place, and sometimes the mills don't. So depending on your hands and depending on what you can get out on your boards, it could work and sometimes couldn't work. Now the Surto's ability is only once per turn, so that's the sad thing. But say that we didn't draw the Felice, right? Say if we had Felice special summon to our field, and the Wolf special summon to our field as well. And we drew the Mind Control, right? Say if that was the thing. You could be able to extend your board like that. You could. So you could synchronize these two, especially some uh, F.A. Don Draxter and stuff like that. But we didn't do that. So Mind Control was milled here. That's a sad thing. So what I would do with this type of board is I would to... Let's see. I will go for uh, Link with 1, 2, 3... Four, special summon the Boar Lord Dragon, and then activate Black House Soldier on Blood Beginnings effect. So special summon you your board by banishing a light and a dark. And there you go. Ideally, that isn't what the boards you currently want on the on the field. This is isn't what you really want on the board, but it's, sometimes it depends on your hands what determine on your boards. Now, the board you really want to see when you extend all your combos and such is this. So what you really want on the board is these. You want to try to special summon as much as you can throughout the depending on your mills, depending on your pluses, depending on because sometimes your mills can screw you up, sometimes your mills can't. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes your mills can uh, extend your board, sometimes your mills can't. But, ideally, you want to have at least Sayuja's Skull Dread on the board. If not Sayuja, you really want Sayuja in your graveyard. You mainly want the uh, Generic Link Monster. You want at least Borlord Savage. With at least any Link Monster, as such as uh, Curious or Sayuja. So, personally, Sayuja sometimes. Proxy Dragon. F.A. Don Draxter. And the reason why I usually play F.A. Don Draxter instead of uh, Michael or any other uh, level 7s is because F.A. Don Draxter helps protect you from... Uh, helps protect you from, like, getting evenly matched and such. So, it's very useful. And then... Depending on your 
Shadow lights up, depending on what you draw or what you can summon. I usually will go for El Shadow Winda. That way I can stop your my opponent's uh, ways from extending their boards. Because they will have to find a way to get around El Shadow Winda. But they also have to find a way to get around Boiler Savage as well as F.A. Don Traxter. So mainly what they should do, if you want to try to get around this board, is the Kaiju F.A. Don Dragster and go from there. But I do have Proxy Dragon on my board so I can protect my materials from getting destroyed. So this is a decent board, but it's usually the board you want to end up, or try to end up with. Sometimes you might not end up with Window, you might end up with uh, this. The, so you might, only once I've ended up with this guy, it actually did pretty well. Uh, another time I end up with... Uh, this board, they accept Boiler Savage here, Boiler Savage was here, F.A. Don Drexler was there, and I end up with El Chanel Construct. It's pretty good. It's a good board. Just depending on uh, if your opponents have ways to out it and such like that. Now, ideally, this deck runs pretty smoothly, and there are changes that I will be doing. To the deck, such as uh, I will be putting in. If I can get my hands on another Black Lesser Soldier on the very beginning, I will be playing that. If I can get my hands on a another, where is it? I will probably be playing a third Pot of Desires as well as a El Shadal or another Shadal Fusion. If I can get my hands on uh, more of these guys, I'll be playing these guys inside the deck, which can extend my combos. I will also be trying to run different hand traps as well. I'm trying to test out what kind of hand traps are very useful at this in certain decks and certain formats. So meaning the side deck might get changed with uh, I might end up side deck in one Ghost or Snow Rabbits or it may, it might be side deck in my effect fillers. It's just depending on uh, certain formats. But these are cards that I will end up probably changing with the deck, which I'll probably be uploading another uh, YouTube video or deck profile of this deck. So, yeah. Uh, also, let me know down in the comments below, guys, what you guys think of the deck and what card changes do you think I should do for the deck. Uh, I don't have the ability to get me a Yang Zing Yazi or a Mare Mare. I'm still working on trying to get those cards of where I am. But... It's kind of tough getting certain cards. Like I said, I am still trying to get my hands on a playset of Ash Blossom, so I finally got my second one, and I'm working on getting me a playset of it. Also, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think I should change in the deck, uh, what cards you guys think I should run, what cards you guys think I should change out. I just like hearing you guys' comments. Also, don't forget down below uh, to like, comment, and subscribe. Because the more you guys like and the more you guys uh, comment down below, the more I can upload more amazing content that I always do here. Dragon Rockstar is signing out. See you guys next time.